Oh, do you think watching football is for losers? No, I don't think watching football is for losers, but like football should not be your life. Whether a team wins, whether a team loses, it shouldn't affect your day. Like I remember going into the calf in the morning. You know, I'm not saying this happened many times, but what I'm saying is I've seen a man sitting down, like one of our work colleagues yeah, in the calf that we usually see, sitting down in the calf on Philip Lane, a man's just there, like serious and that. A man has told me before, don't worry about him in it. Like, don't speak to him for a little bit. Like, he's just upset because Arsenal lost or whatever, innit? Tottenham lost, whatever. And I'm thinking, blood, how the fuck's a team losing going to affect your day the following day? Like, you don't need to understand and realise these teams that you are supporting, and look, it's entertainment, I get it. But these teams you're supporting, big man, if you drop dead tomorrow, None of these footballers are going to give a shit. If they heard, oh, one of their fans died the previous day, they won't give a shit, blood. They don't even know your name. You're screaming, you're hollering a man's name that don't even know you. You're putting on a jersey on your son and letting him run around with the next man's name on your son's back. Yeah? Like, how mad is that? Imagine, imagine having a next man's name on your son's back. Um, you might as well fucking give him up for adoption, bro. So, like, yeah, support football. You know what I'm trying to say? It's entertainment and that. But, blah, don't be start fighting over that shit. Don't be start, you know, upsetting your day or having a bad day because your team lost. Now, obviously, if a man put down two, three hundred pounds on a team and it lost, then, yeah, that's a reason to be upset. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, you don't want to... You don't want to start uh, getting sad and, and then, then bullshit there over no fucking football team when the people them ain't going to come to your Ross Club funeral.